What's up everyone? Thanks for checking out another project video. My name is Mitch and you're watching Made by Mitch where I show you the things I make and what I learned making them. If you like to make stuff or you want to know how to make stuff, consider subscribing. Today I'm showing you how I made this really simple necklace and jewelry hanger. So let's check it out. So the first thing I had to do was cut all the boards to length. I used a six foot one by three and I just cut it into three pieces. Each of them were 24 inches long. I did use a stop block right here for these, which made this a lot easier and I knew each cut would be exactly the same. This is a really simple project and I'm confident that anybody can do this project. And it really only takes a few different steps. And so after the boards were cut, I sanded them all the way up to 220 grit. And then I used a tape measure to mark where I wanted my hooks to be. I started with just a small mark with the tape measure and then I went back in with a speed square to make more of a definitive line that I could go by. And then I went back and made a mark on the middle of each of those cross marks so that way I had an exact point they would all be lined up uh, in the same place along the edge of the board. Once I had all my marks, I could go in with a drill and just drill the holes out. And I used a clamp to hold the board steady on my workbench, and then I just went in and used a small drill bit and drilled a hole on all of these marks. Now I'm just showing you one board, but I did this on all three of my boards. I did go back in after and sand off my pencil marks after I drilled all of my holes. Next I just got the boards ready to add finish. First I used a tack cloth just to get off all the excess dust and then I used a dark walnut stain and just wiped it on with a dry rag. This has recently been my favorite stain that I've used on projects like this. Let me know what kind of stain you like in the comments below. I'd love to hear what else is out there that you all like. You I only used one coat of this stain and then I let it dry for a few days and after that I followed it up with some spray shellac and I love spray shellac because it gives such a great finish on small projects like this and it dries really fast. Next I added a couple keyhole hangers on the backs of these boards that way I could hang them on the wall and these are really easy to install you just find the middle of the board drill a small pilot hole and then you can just uh, attach them to the back. I have a link in the description below if you're interested in these but I've used them for multiple projects in the past and, and they work great. Okay, down to the last step on these jewelry hangers and wanted to show you the hooks I bought for these. I got these on Amazon. They're just 7 8 inch cup hooks and I've got them for like $6.99 on Amazon. So if you have to do any project like this, that's the best deal I found to get those. I think I got like 96 hooks for that price. So that's a pretty good deal. I uh, couldn't find it better anywhere else. So I want to let you know about that. I got affiliate links down in the description below. So check those out. All right, let's get back to it. The next thing I had to do was just add the hooks to the bottom of the boards. And this was an easy process. You literally just screw them in place, making sure they're facing the same way. And the last thing I had to do was just hang this on the wall. All I did was mark out where I wanted these to be. Now I put my keyhole hooks on the back at 16 inches apart. That way I knew they could land right on a stud. But if you don't want to do this or you can't do this, you can always use some anchors that go into the drywall to hold the weight. But I just put my screws in the place they needed to be. I made sure they were level and then I just measured down from each screw uh, and then added the next board and then repeated the process for the bottom board. This was really simple to do. Just make sure your measurements are good and make sure everything is level and then um, that's all you have to do. I really love the way that this jewelry hanger turned out. Now this was actually something that I built for a friend I'm probably going to be making another one soon for my wife. Once she saw the final product, she really liked it. But I also thought about making another version of this, maybe to put some tools or something like that on uh, down in my shop. And I just love how easy this was, how simple, and it looks really good too. If you like this video, check out some of the other DIY projects I have. I'll link them right here. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next project. All right, down to the last step for making these jewelry 
Joel, 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 Joel,